Hi everyone, it's Mr. Myers back here in my garage in a little bit of a different view because today's video is different. Today we're talking about rigging and this lesson is something that you are going to uh, mirror at home. I'm going to walk you through all the steps, but today we're going to do two things that involve this bag from our tech kit. This is the rigging bag. So you're gonna need this, and there's a little bit of prep that you have to do in order to get this ready. So here are the materials, and here's what you have to do. <laughs> so for today's lesson, the materials that you need are all inside of that bag, mostly. You're gonna need the long black twine, the three large washers, the two small pulleys, and the three paper clips that are all in that rigging bag. But you're also gonna need a pair of scissors and your ruler. There's also a little bit of setup that you've got to do. First things first, you're gonna attach the washers to the paper clips. Put one on each one, and then I give it a little bit of a twist at the top so it's nice and secure. Do this on all three washers. It doesn't have to be pretty. You just need to have a nice secure loop. Ta -da. Next, you're gonna grab your ruler and you're gonna measure out two one-foot pieces of twine and cut them so that you have two short pieces and one long piece. Great, now that you've got that all put together, so you've got two short pieces of twine that are about a foot long, one longer piece of twine, two pulleys, and three washers that are attached with the three paper clips kind of twisted at the top. You're gonna to need all of those to take two pictures today. Both pictures, you're gonna set something up, you're gonna be able to follow the steps that I do, and then you're gonna set something up that looks like one single line set in a rigging, like in a full rigging set. So one single run that includes counterweight, operating line, uh, head block, loft block, and batten. So we're gonna simulate that today in two different ways. The first way is called single purchase line set. That's like the line sets that we have at, uh, at the Ole PAC. But there's another way called a double purchase line set, which is usually used um, to create some kind of mechanical advantage, which we'll talk about when we're demoing it and what that looks like. Um, sometimes it's used if there's not enough space up above. Um, yeah, there are lots of uses for a double purchase line set, um, but we have single purchase. So we're gonna demo both of those. And this has to be done on a bar, okay? Today's demo has to be done on like one single bar. And I thought that I might just like take a bar like this and suspend it right here, but I wanted to show you how you could do this at your house. One of the ways that you could do it at your house is you could take simply like a, a chair and you could lay it on a side and you could use one of the legs of the chair or you could use like the towel bar in a bathroom and that's what we're going to do. So follow me on a field trip of sorts. So we're going to get right into this here with a single purchase setup. You're gonna to start out with both of your pulleys and you're gonna secure them to whatever rod you're using with just like a regular shoestring knot. Try to set them about two feet, 18 inches apart or so. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your big longer piece of twine and you're gonna thread it through both pulleys and then grab one of the weights. Attach it to one end of the line. You can use a half hitch kind of like I'm doing here or a regular 
um, overhand knot, or you can use a trucker's hitch if you really want to, but it just needs to be secured to the end of the line. This weight is going to simulate the load that's on the end of a line set. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a second weight and you're gonna attach this to the longer end of the line. Um, you can use whatever kind of knot you want, either a trucker's hitch or another half hitch if you want, but try to balance them out and get them about the same distance away from the pulleys. Once you've done this, you can see that your load is perfectly in balance. One weight on one side, which would be the operating line, and one weight on the other side, which would simulate the load. Ta-da! Now that you've got the first one done, make sure to take a picture of it before taking it apart. You're going to take everything off, but leave one pulley on for the double purchase system. Take your one pulley that's still attached to the bar and slide it a little ways away. Then secure your line to the bar using a clove hitch followed by a half hitch. Then you're going to feed the loose end of the line through the second pulley, leaving the little connector piece um, free and dangling below. Then you're going to take that line, feed it through the first original pulley that's on there, attach one weight to that longer um, loose end of the line what's going to simulate the lead end of the line i think i'm just going to use a hat um, a trucker's hitch right here to do that once you've got that secure it's going to feel a little bit of out of balance and that's all right Move this pulley into the middle of the gap, and then you're gonna take both of your remaining weights, and you're gonna lash it with the one piece of short string that you've got in just kind of a regular shoestring knot or whatever you can to attach it to the bottom of that pulley. The double purchase system works nicely because you actually get a little bit of mechanical advantage. I've got one weight perfectly in balance with two. Isn't that nice? Ta-da! Take a picture of this and you're all set. All right, everybody, that's it. Those two different types of line sets are two of the most common in a theatrical setting. Uh, like I said, we're gonna demonstrate the single purchase line set inside of the PAC, so you'll be able to follow along like in person or on Zoom for that part. But um, in the meantime, get out there, do this. Uh, inside, like on a towel rack in a bathroom is a great spot. Um, on a curtain line in a bathroom is a great spot. If you don't have any of those, you can make some room in a closet and tie it in there. Um, however you do it, just take a picture of both line sets in balance and then submit those pictures in Schoology for credit on this assignment. All right, until next time, friends. Bye. Bye. Bye now. Bye-bye now.